Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to Takedown Live! I am Andy. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope everyone's having a better day than Tiger Woods. Long night of amazing fights. We'll be doing some live bets, hopefully. So, let's let me get my Windows pulled up here. We'll start going through the fights. Um. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Derek, doing all right. Bob, get fired up. <laughs> so it's just me tonight. Jim may jump on later, but it's Tara's birthday, so they are over at friend's house. They'll be watching the fights. Um, if he gets back later, he might. So I'm trying to – trying to. Re I, I got a long night, so I'm trying to not blow my wad uh, <laughs> that, uh, early. Okay, so let's just start uh, from the very beginning. So I'm having a tough betting week. Um <clears throat> Here's what's been happening. I've been leaving, uh, I've been laying off winners. I've been, I, I've, I've just been laying off winners. So like, I like my low volume approach works most of the time. This week it is not because I've I, the, I've lost some of the plays I put in, but the plays that I have um, that I've laid off of have have been hitting. So. Um, I think we're going to try, I'm just going to probably play more tonight than I normally do. So, um, Lee, that is, that is a perfect example of what happened last night. We had Sadabusi, the fight starts, Sadabusi is working the body of Josh Silvera. You could just see the writing on the wall that Silvera was not having it. He was, he was, he was dying. He takes Sadabusi down. Sadabusi puts his hand down, snaps his thumb in half, and we lose by TKO. And the worst, the worst part about it is that it just goes down as a TKO. So one of my buddies was like, one of my buddies texted me. He was like, oh, I see our guy got knocked out in the first minute. It was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> so if, you, if you weren't watching, you just, you didn't know what, you didn't know what had happened there. So, uh, all right. So Fig and Cody Garbrandt. Um, I listen. It's minus three eighty. I think Fig wins, and I'm not. I wouldn't be mad at a fight not to go the distance on that one. I think I'm probably just gonna play. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play. It's minus one ninety. I'm just gonna throw a little bit on and see if we can get a finish here. Um, of course. X X. I don't know. I'll keep going. Um, Here's the thing. If it goes under, it's probably Fig knocking out Cody. Cody was bigger at weigh-ins, but if I don't see Cody finishing Fig. So are you is it just like you just take Fig by by knockout? Like Fig by knockout is plus 175. I don't know. Um I I I'm I'm laying off this one because I can't quite figure out how I want to play it. But Fig in a parlay, I think is a good way to go. Bobby Green, Jim Miller. I like, um, I, I, if you guys have DraftKings where they have the spreads, I like Jim Miller plus three and a half. I I, I don't think Bobby Green is going to steamroll through Miller. I don't, definitely don't think he's knocking him out. So, um, so I, I kind of like, I actually not kind of, I really like that one. I like that one a lot. 
Andrade and Rodriguez. I see I see unders on that one. Andrade is minus one forty eight. I'm the, that's a live bet for me. Um, so Turner and Moicano. That's another live bet for me. Uh, I want to see if J. I want to see if Jalen Turner starts to get tired. If Moicano can't get him, or if Turner can't get Moicano out of there early, I think this could be a greasy decision where Moicano is like it's one one going into the third round, and Moicano holds him down, and it's just a gross decision for Moicano. Yusef and Lopez. I've been talking about Lopez all week um, on free play, so. Uh, you guys know I love Lopez. I like Holly Holm. What's Holly Holm by decision? I mean, it is six to one. I know Kayla Harrison looked great. You can probably take that one to go the distance. I, I actually go the distance is probably the way. I just don't see a finish that Holly Holm ain't finishing Kayla Harrison, but Kayla Harrison, she couldn't finish Aspen Lad. So uh, yeah. Um, Calvin Cater and Sterling. I think the value's on Cater, but I, I think it's a live bet. Just kind of see how the pace is going. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have a strong one, but that's a good line. Yuri and Rakic. I guess it's Yuri. I, I don't trust Rakic in the slightest. His style is boring, and it doesn't it doesn't fit well. It doesn't. In this day and age, his style doesn't work with judging. Um, Yuri should be more active and therefore is going to look better to the judges. So, Bo Nickel and Brundage. All right, we'll start round two. This is my this is my show best bet. It's my show best bet because of an interview that Bo Nickel did. It was on Twitter. I believe Aaron Bronstetter did it. Bo Nickel flat out said, I would like to win in round two. These first round finishes are not getting me better. And he's right, by the way. He's like, we put in all this work. We go through all this camp and then... We get a first-round finish, and I didn't get any better. I think there is a very good chance that Bo Nickel wants to get cage time and uses this and as a way to at least get in there. Cody has at least a round of cardio, and if Bo doesn't want to get him out of there, they could wrestle around, and all of a sudden this ends up in round two. And the other thing is it will absolutely wreck everyone's parlay because they got Bo in round one. I, I've watched this in PFL with some of these younger guys where they, they are fighting young or they're, they're fighting weak opponents and instead of getting them out of there, they try and go for more cage time. I have seen this happen. I think it happens tonight. Bo Nickel uh, and Brundage to start round two. And then here's the other thing. Brundage is not going to quit like in some of the other fights that we've seen. He's not quit. He didn't fight. He didn't quit against Reese. He got the win. He was getting his brakes beaten off against Mount Coon, but I, he's going to try really hard. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Olivera and Sarukian, you're just going under, fight not to go the distance on that one. Olivera, like, barely goes. He always gets popped. He always goes down. Sarukian can absolutely do that, and Olivera can absolutely get a submission, I, and I think that's a high pace, intense fight. I like that one. To not go the distance. Gagey and Holloway. I don't know. I like the value on Holloway, but not enough to not enough to bet it. So nothing to that one. Uh Wiley Zhang and Yan. I think the value's on Yan, but I will wait and see if I can get a live bet. I don't know. Um over three and a half is not too bad. I'm not really sure either of these women get gets finished. Yan is a little bit more of a point fighter, and Wiley could be looking at the wrestling. So and both these women are in fantastic shape. And then uh, Prayer and Hill, I mean, you dig this one to not go the distance. I'm pretty surprised at, at the lines on this one to not go the distance. So, um, yeah. Uh, All righty. What do you guys like in Canvin? You like Rakic, Bubbles, Holm. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, home. Yeah, for sure. Well, JC, so why lay off? Well, because we had a massive month of March, and it's it's you, you're not repeating the month of March. So I don't want to put out a ton of plays and lose a bunch. And the fact is, we have been losing. We have been losing some plays. So. Um, so, you know, we want to try and limit the damage. We don't want to lose 50 units in 
two weeks, which can happen when you're on a really bad losing streak. So, um, so we'll see what happens tonight. But I'm going to watch this first one. This first fight, Fig and Garbrandt. See if see see if I get a decent enough read on it. So, so can only go up when you're on a cold streak. Oh, that is not true. You can keep going down. <laughs> you can keep going down. <laughs> Uh, Camden, what I say about Aljo and Cater? I mean, if this stays on the feet, Cater's going to murder him in the striking. But if it gets on the ground, it's Aljo holding him down. But Aljo's never fought a guy this big um, weight-wise. So is he going to be able to take him down? I don't know. I do think it's interesting that Sterling has done three grappling events um, since, his last, since the O'Malley fight. And I, you know, Jim Malero was telling me, he's like, well, you know, it's, you know, it's a side hustle and they do get paid for, it. but I, I don't know. I think there's something to it that he's been doing. He's been doing grappling. I, he's going to work really hard at it. If, if he's able to get it down on the ground, it's going to be a boring fight. But if it stays on the feet, Cater is going to absolutely whoop him. Absolutely whoop him. So. So, um, since it's just me, don't be surprised if I take, when I take breaks and go out and walk around, stretch my legs and everything, so. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do fig. I was looking at something else here. Yeah, so Justin, I watched Power Slap too. Here's here's what we're doing for Power Slap moving forward. We're taking guys that have been in quite a few fights. CTE is real, and those guys, very, very short shelf life. KO Chris, he has no, he's done. He's done. He can't put him in another fight. Once these guys get checked, once these guys get knocked out in power slap, it's over. You cannot, you cannot take <laughs> any more shots. Um, it was bad. KO Chris was awesome. The last two fights, he cannot. He just can't. He can't take another shot. So, I'm going to do Fig to win. I believe, I, I think you're right that he's better everywhere. And then I'm going to do Miller and Green to start round two. Yeah, I mean, that Wolverine thing was terrible. His opponent missed weight by 15 pounds, so Wolverine's fighting a guy that's just... I mean, was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So I'm not surprised. he. Yeah, and he, yeah, he's probably done. He is probably done. Bo plus over three and a half minutes. Oh, that's interesting. Where the hell, where is that one at? That's a wild one. <laughs> All right. Power slap stats. I don't know. I just kind of know all these guys because I watch all the events. But every guy, every guy that I've watched get rocked in his last fight got murdered last night. Like straight up bodied. Over, wow. Round prop. 
Oops. Over half a round, that's pretty damn good. Okay. Get this pulled up here. Um, UFC fights. There it is. Minute props. Time props. There. Uh. What? 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 What website? What website is the Bo Nickel things on? I got a couple killer bottles of wine. I love this one. For Charles Oliveira, I got Charles Charles. And then I found a uh, bottle of wine, the Wither Hills, for Jamal Hill. Oh, same game. Oh, you're talking about same game parlay. I get it.
So you do So you do bow plus Jeez. Yeah, that's a good one. Over one and a half minutes. That's minus 350. Pretty good. I'll wait on that one. Awesome, Matthew. Score two goals tonight. Love it. All right, here we go. Joe Rogan looks like absolute shit. What in the hell is wrong with him? Oh my God. All righty. So what's uh, what's everyone's fight that they're most looking forward to? Not not betting, but just like I think mine's Holloway Gagey. How many fights you guys see not going the distance? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, if 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 you're a fighter that's, you know, I mean, if you're Cody Garbrandt, don't you want to try and wrestle and make this thing go the distance? You know, if you're uh, if you're Moicano, don't you want to try and wrestle and grapple and takedowns and you know, uh, don't you want that to go the distance? If I'm Sadiq Youssef, I want it to go the distance. Holman Harrison, that's probably going to go the distance. Cater and Sterling, I, Sterling's going to want it to go the distance. So I, I think the finishes are a little bit overrated here because, yeah.
Yeah, I mean, like, okay, so if I'm, if I'm, if I'll do the fights that I think they all, like, both fighters are in it for a finish, I'm going Yuri and Rakic, Nickel and Brundage, Oliver and Sarukian, Pereira and Hill. That's plus 155 on those four to not go the distance. It's a good one. I might do I might do that a little bit later. <laughs> Let's hear bubbles. Green Miller. Yeah. Yeah. I'm how is Jim Miller not on the main card? That's ridiculous. Okay. Bow nickel at the end. Hmm. Um. Okay. If he's Bob, if he's live, he's gonna have to do wrestling like he or or all of a sudden his chin is magically not chinny or uh, chin isn't chinny or fig. Doesn't come with a lot of volume.
Uh, we're three and one, Justin. Three and one in in uh, baseball. No, no, when I'm at four minutes, okay? Okay, first fight is starting. Bubbles, I am at 4.15 right now. Good leg kicks by Cody. Nice, nice wrinkle to his game. I'm at four minutes right now. Yeah, Cody's. What the? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, Cody. Cody looks fast now. Fig is a Fig will start slow and try and kind of get into the fight.
fig always looks slow, by the way. No one's ever been like, boy, fig, man, boy, is he fast. I feel like Cody's slowing down a little bit here. <sighs> Good first round. Uh, I give up. Give, I, I give up guessing <laughs> on some of these close ones. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, you know how it is. You know how it goes. <laughs> one minute you think your fighter won two to one, and the next minute one of the judges gave it thirty twenty seven the other way. <laughs> I. I would say body language at the end of the round looked better for Fig. He was smiling, and it looked like he figured out some timing, and Cody's feet got very flat. Like, his hands still looked pretty good, but he was starting to get flat-footed. Um, I don't know if Fig's going to end. Oh, if he, Fig did end up on top. Wow. So, I don't know. Cody's, this is where the size of Fig trying to move up. Like, he's, because Cody's bigger here. Let's see if Cody knows what he's doing. Oh. 
Oh, wow. What is Cody doing? Oh, this is in deep, this arm triangle. If Fig gets that left leg over. There. There it is. Oh, man, this is... There it goes. He just dropped his chest. So Cody made Cody got out of that one. But that's that's good damage. We'll see if Fig blows his arms out. That was a big explosion from Cody that he didn't get up, so he just tr survived a good uh, big submission. Man, those explosions, when they don't work, God, those got to be just exhausting. Oh. Yes. Woo. Beautiful start. Beautiful start. So Tiger shoots his worst round Augusta ever, but overall still doing better than you suggested. I I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he made the cut, which is better than a lot of these bums that are <laughs> that are out there. But then, how good is it? I mean, what's your de what's your definition of good for him at this point? Like making the cut and then being an absolute train wreck. I. I I mean, he's not in any condition to win. It's just like making the cut is a making the cut is a big accomplishment for him, which I think is fair to say that that's a good accomplishment. But going out and doing what he did today, I mean, he's just kind of a novelty. Can I say novelty? Novelty at this point. So, yeah, his short game was epic on on Friday. I mean, epic. He made so many putts and all that stuff. So it just, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, Tiger, 
I, people still love watching him. The crew, the gallery still loves him. He's the most popular golfer. He was the most popular golfer to watch on Thursday and Friday. He just was. He he will be for. I mean, probably a while. But I mean, let's face it. You're just he's. Yeah, he's a novelty. So. All right, we need Miller and Green to start round two, and then our night's off to a off to a winning. I mean, what I I should have been rich off of today. I mean, you can you knew Tiger was going to be terrible today, and he was. His body can't handle more than a couple rounds of golf. And also, just his knowledge of this place is just astonishing. Fabio, what? I just feel like they could dress Fabio better. He is his tie is not the length of his tie is ridiculous. The shirt looks like it came out of Coles. I, I just I, I don't. What are we doing here? It's UFC three hundred. What are we doing? That's a great submission. I mean, submission bonus. That's that's a good one. It's a good one to get started. Um, I'm not going to do a shot for each finish because there could be quite a few. So, <laughs> Thanks for the memories, OJ. <laughs> so I was thinking, I know that's a terrifying thought. Um, is... Could you argue that OJ has had who's had a bigger impact on on culture or on on society than OJ? <clears throat> think think of everything associated with OJ. Like so the sport alone is an amazing thing, his his impact on sports. And then he was in movies, he had that career. But then the trial happens. You get, I mean, it was, it's the trial of the, of the century. It drove every news station forever. It, it basically drove the stand-up comedy industry for a long time. Everybody had to have OJ, OJ material. Um... The other thing that the other thing that you guys forget is the Kardashians came out of that. Rob Kardashian was involved with that trial and the Kardashians aren't a thing without that trial, I don't think. So that whole family comes out of the OJ thing and spawns 
on uh, countless, I mean, billions. Those businesses are billion dollar businesses. So then you get you get the the whole Kardashian thing, which basically covered the e network. I mean, just the the justice system. I, like, I don't know, man. Like, yeah, K S A Car- Car- Kardashians. Like, you just look at the spider webs of of OJ and. You could make the case that he's one of the most, just because of his existence, he had some of the most impact on, on our culture in our lifetimes. It's really, really wild. <laughs> but see, the other thing about OJ is like, like me, I was in high school, I think. So we've had like, what, 30 years, I guess, 30 years almost to to like see the effects. So if you're if you're talking about our lifetimes, you have to go back to that time per- period. Who's had who's had a bigger impact? There 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 might be another there might be another answer, but you can't say anybody within the last 10 years cuz you don't have the longevity. So, I don't know. I don't know, it's I, like not certainly not a fan. I'm not condoning, but it's an interesting discussion is who who in our lifetimes has had that crazy much of an impact yeah OJ yeah OJ made many people many millions yes absolutely yeah the amount of people that got rich off of OJ it's that's you're a hundred percent right All right, next fight, Miller, Green. Let's get this one to start round two. Let's root for Jim Miller. I'm rooting for Jim Miller. Oh, money is coming in on Bobby Green. Holy shit. Okay, say that is pretty, that, that is pretty crazy, man. I don't know. T- Tiger Woods, I I don't not cultural. Like OJ Simpson affected the justice system. OJ Simpson affected industries. Uh, he like it, I I the, the reach of OJ inadvertently too by the way. <laughs> I so Bob, I I do worry about the chin of of green that 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 ass whooping he took from Jalen Turner was was a lot. I don't. I mean, it's going to be hard to knock out Jim Miller. But it's going to be hard for Miller to knock out Green because I just don't know if he's. See, no, I do like the plus three and a half for Jim Miller.
All three gave Cody. <laughs>
Yeah, he knows Jim Miller. Yeah. When will Justin versus Max start? Oh my God, not for a while. You got about four or five hours. Yeah. Little Birdie told me that Jim Miller was going to really go after leg kicks. <laughs> Bobby Green just... <laughs> They just always fall like that, and it's like, you just tell him, like, what are you going to do? Tell him to not fight like that? He had a long UFC career. Yeah, green looks good. Greens minus two thirty.
Good flurry. God, good round. I don't know how we got that one to start round two. <laughs> Whew. All right. That's a good one. That's a good one. Fig to win and Green and Miller to start round two. Okay, we're off and running. We are off and running. Green is, oh yeah, so, yeah, green is, uh, I mean, it, the fight had to have already started, the, wow, be careful of live lines, these live lines have already started spiking, like, it was 160, then, then two. Let's see if some if something happens big here with green then that we know the live lines are like a minute behind us. So that is terrifying. This is awesome. Jim has definitely damaged those legs of Bobby Green. I need Scheffler to hit this putt. If Scheffler hits this putt on 18, we win. The tide is turning, my friends. The tide is turning. Hit, hit a bet here. Start UFC. Scheffler hits that putt to save my ass. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whew. Yeah, Miller's getting beat up here. Uh, 
Come on, Miller. So true. Oh, man. God damn, Miller. Anybody, anybody remember or hear the story about when Jim Miller missed weight on purpose? <laughs> to save a fight? <laughs> <laughs> that story is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, John! <laughs> Portland, the Portland Trailblazers. Oh my God. Yeah, I don't want to do two dollar Tuesday anymore. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell everyone about what it's like being the two dollar Tuesday handicapper because it's it's bonkers.
Jim Jim Miller hurt Bobby Green because Bobby Green doesn't clinch unless he's hurt. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Siren, I'll be honest. I'm not. I'm not doing NBA or NHL plays for the rest of the regular season. We had a we had a great NHL season. I lost. I think last one or the last two. And even my paper trading or free plays haven't. They've been wonky. So I'm staying away from NBA and NHL. And because of that, I'm like, I'm not even looking at them. I just. I've got my profits for the season, so I haven't even really been looking at them. I look at them when I have to do shows, um, but I have not been uploading plays for client plays. So, oh, Jim's hurt so bad. Oh man. My God. My God, what a fucking bloodbath. Jesus Christ, what a fucking bloodbath. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy Jesus Christ. Oh, man. My God, I mean, my God. All right, so all right, let's do that. Here, you know what? This will be fun. Let's do fight of the night. Let's do our bonuses.
So fight of the night's Green Miller right now. So Of all the fights to see a 30-25, I don't think that's it. <laughs> like I don't get I don't get I don't get the I don't get the judges made. Here so here we go with the weird ass judges. When have you ever seen that? When have you ever seen that? Hi, buddy. Hello, my big guy. Hi, pal. Yeah, you're Miller plus three and a half. No, you can't even have plus five and a half. <laughs> we were, we were, you were, you won't even win the odds on a five round fight. <laughs> Okay, Andrade Rodriguez. Um, I'm sitting out this fight. I liked Rodriguez, but not enough to bet. And, I mean, Andrade can finish. I, I have nothing confident in this one, so... Turner and Moicano... Let me think about how to do Turner, because I could do the thing where you bet Turner, where you bet Turner to win, and then if he gets tired, like if he doesn't get him out of there, you just try and live bet Moicano, because I'm sure he'll be plus money. Like if you take a minus 250 and he's kicking the shit out of Moicano, you can probably jump in a Moicano like plus four or 500. I'll be right back.
Friday. All right, you got Andrade. Rodriguez, I'll have live lines open for this one. I don't think either one of them are going to gas. Here we go. It's a good one. Good fight. I'm going to eat. I'm not apologizing for it. Going to some Indian food tonight. I'm interested to see what the pace of the, like, who's going to be pushing forward, too. Because I thought Andrade did a great job with the counter punching of Dern. Dern was pretty wild, so. But she's normally, she's normally the one pushing forward. Oh, yeah, there's a little of everything, a little tikka masala. Never had, never tried this place, but it's good. Spicy. I like the spicy. Good naan. Love this naan. This is good. Boy Rodriguez is having really nice success on the outside. Really nice. Wow, big moment for Jessica. Oh, man. You think this is the worst fight on the card? Hmm. Live lines have got Andrade almost three to one, or one to three.
Man, huge round for Andrade. Man. Which fight is worse or which fight will be worse? I mean, that Holly Holm Kayla Harrison fight could be an atrocity. An atrocity. Turner Moicano, if that thing gets on the ground, could be boring. If if Aljamain Sterling gets Cater on the ground and holds him there, that fight will be horrible. It's a couple nominees. On paper, I think it's Holly Holm and Kayla Harrison. Nothing about that fight screams excitement. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess, okay, I guess if you say, well, it's Kayla Harrison in the UFC, I guess that part is, but. Yeah, from a betting perspective, if Bo screws around and Bo wins it by decision, yeah, that'll be the worst fight on the card. Now, I'll tell you right now, you're not going to see this striking in the Harris, in the Kayla Harrison fight. Rodriguez is, when Rodriguez stays on the outside, she's landing. Those short, short arms of Andrade aren't getting through. If Andrade doesn't get it down kind of soon, she's going to be so beat up and wobbled. She's not going to be able to have. Now Rodriguez is plus 175.
I'm taking a sprinkle on Rodriguez. I think this is... It, I, Rodriguez is having so much success. It's still plus money. I got it at plus 150. I mean, this 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 strike, she is absolutely landing at will now on Andrade. Oh, shit. Oh, good knee. Oh, did Rodriguez just hit a wall, or what the fuck is going on? Yeah, Rodriguez got Rodriguez got lit up there. God damn it. It's one one. God damn it. I think I put in a live bet at the wrong time. Yeah, I see what the live lines are doing. When this fight start, when this round starts, Andrade is going to whoop her ass. I can't do you can't do live lines while the fight's going on. That's a mistake by me. Too far behind. <clears throat> These live lines are so far ahead. All right. <clears throat> oh, uh, worse than the life lines, but there's a valuable lesson. Live lines, probably not going to be betting live lines for the rest of the night. These live lines are so off compared to what we're seeing. Well, wait a minute. What is going on here? Maybe that is. Maybe that's it, JC. Because when I saw the lines, I was like, well, these don't make any sense. I think it has to be a, a classic 1-1, one -one, right? So are the live lines two minutes ahead? Oh, 
Okay, so the live lines are like seriously like. Well, I mean, it's like two minutes and thirty-five seconds now. But the live, I'm what when I was watching the live lines, they're like two minutes ahead of us. So that'll wrap up live lines. That'll wrap up live betting. Oh my god! Seriously. Because watching the live lines move. Matched what was happening like wow. <laughs> I got a bookie like by the cage. Yeah, with a computer set up. <laughs> oh. This is interesting. <clears throat> I'm not sure Rodriguez is at winning this round. Oh. Damn. Close one? I guess on Draj. Over two and a half. That was a good one. Okay, so we know that we're not live betting. Yeah, Rodriguez and Andraj, that was a that was a predictable one to go the distance. Split.
Close one. Max Crosby. I'm rolling with Jalen Turner. I'm trusting my buddy, Rudy G. All right, any lines that are moving? Main event's the same. Little money coming in on Wile. KG Holloway the same. Sarukian the same. Bo Nichols the same. Little money on Yuri. Money on Yuri. Now that on Kayla Lopez. Okay, all right. Little money on Jalen Turner. Derek, I, I Moicano's a Moicano's a weird one. I don't know. I guess you could do inside the distance for a better price, but I 
He's a little soft. Okay. Parlays all across the world need Jalen Turner. Moicano got hurt. Moicano got hurt with that to the body. Wow. Big mistake by Jalen Turner. Hello, Scott. All right, so Turner's against the fence. We'll see here. Because moicano he's been kind of active on the ground, but...
Okay. Ooh, nice work by Jalen Turner. If he if he lands a bunch of strikes, they will absolutely give him the round. <laughs> what is Jalen Turner doing? Jalen Turner is such a dumbass. Jalen Turner is such a dumbass. <laughs> I mean... Dumbass. All you had to do was jump on him and land like two hammer fists and they would have called it. Stay touched through the walk off. Walk off dipshit. Oh my god. God. I mean, just stupid. <laughs> just. <laughs> you doing and he did uh, now nah, he won that round i mean there, there, you, there's no way you can give it to moicano now <laughs> and moicano's probably wobbled surely turner's gonna knock him out in this round because moicano's i don't know if a minute's enough time to get your wits out about that god jalen See, Jalen, J God, this is why you just can't take Jalen Turner serious. Not as a contender. You just can't. Full mounted now. He's full mounted. He had Moicano laying down, knocked out. Cut to two minutes later, and he's, he's laying on his back with Moicano full mounted. Unbelievable.
Yeah, exactly, KC. <laughs> That's very well said. You have got to be kidding me. Jalen Turner just got knocked out. What a fucking... That's the dumbest... That's the single dumbest thing I think I've ever seen in the UFC. That's That's got to be the single dumbest thing. It has to be. It has to be the dumbest... That's just... Amazing. Here comes a Moicano, uh,
Oh my god. Too funny. Absolutely too funny. Tiago, have you never heard <laughs> you never heard Moicano on the mic? <laughs> I, that is just, I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell Jalen Turner was thinking, but we warned you, me and Jim warned y'all, <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> so bad. So, so bad. Um, well, I don't want to say Lopez is an easy play, but I, I thought Lopez was a great play, just all things considered with the lines and, and everything. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of people like, a lot of people like Yusef. It's not a super obvious one, but I, I think that, I think that Lopez has more finishing ability especially in the submission game and just just watching Yusef not be able to get Barboza out of there and then wins the first round and then loses the next four before that he beat Don Shanus and he's definitely got volume but Lopez so far has looked like he belongs he looks like he's legit he's already got three UFC fights under his belt so Is Lopez better than Barboza? I, they're they're so different. I mean, they're so different. Like Lopez is the younger, up and coming. He's gonna if he get if he gets on the ground, then yeah, it's absolutely Lopez is is better. Like as far as grind it out, clinch, you know, maybe. I, it's hard to say. They're just. There you go. Yeah, Rogan's perfectly fine. It's called Jamal Hill, Jalen Turner.
I never watched Fear Factor. I mean, one of the greatest, like, career decisions ever. Get off of Fear Factor or just go into, um, get into UFC, man. Uh, I'm going to hit the restroom real quick before this uh, fight starts to be back. All righty. <sighs> Fight goes a distance? I don't know. So in the Andrade fight, the two judges gave Andrade round two, so rounds one and two. All righty.
how small the statue of Allen Iverson? I didn't see, I had no idea. Let's see. I saw it. I mean, there's, I mean, seriously, is there a right way to do a statue? Well, yes, there is. It's just teams miss it. Okay. Oh man, those are big time. I wonder if Lopez. Oh, he drilled him with an uppercut. Sprawl him out, Diego. Sprawl him out. Let's go. Let's go. Bam. Bam.
That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my god, look at look at Yusef's eye. Jesus Christ. God damn. All right, so raise your hand or just put in the chat if you've ever accidentally bet something twice. Like you're like, I like this play, you bet it, and then you forget that you bet it, and you go back and you bet it again. Has anyone ever done that? Like you play it on one book, you forget. <laughs> <laughs> John Jr., you've never done that? Come on. Now, <laughs> what's the win rate on those? Like, you never win those. That's the, <laughs> that's, that's the worst part. Is like, my win rate on those is like 3% over, <laughs> over my career. If I've done it, if I've done it a hundred times, I've won three. <laughs> And I had Lopez twice. I just now realized that I just, I just realized I had Lopez twice. So that, now that's now four out of 101 that I've done that. Looking at my books right now. Oh, my God. Uh, 10%. Yep. Uh, John lives in Vegas. How many active accounts do I have right now? Seventeen. I have seventeen, and Nathan and I work together, and he's got five or six. But we're you 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 got you guys you guys have to. You guys have to know, um, well, the Pinnacle, you can't even open an, you can't open an account on Pinnacle now if you're in the U.S. That, that's what sucks. Um, I mean, I, I don't know, what, Sharp Action, I guess you'd say Bet Online. It sure as fuck ain't Heritage. They limited me so quick. They were, they're supposed to be awesome, but they're not. Bet Online will accept some pretty big 
like very big bets. And then I've got, yeah, you, you guys have to understand, like being in Indiana is, I, 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 it, it has to be the best state for most legalized books. If not, it's, I, I don't know any state that has it better than we do. It's one of the few things that we do that Indiana does great. We don't do potholes very good. We're not a food state. Indianapolis has got some some pretty decent food scenes. Uh, but we'll do our legalized gambling. So I I get it that I'm I, that I I live in a I happen to live in a great situation. So I'm taking advantage of it. Oh yeah, Siren. I've been to Geist. So Geist. So I live on I live on a lake with beautiful, clean, amazing water. It's the cleanest water in the state. You've heard me talk about this. Nice little pontoon boat. Pretty chill. Geist is the yuppie. Yuppie. The lake is disgusting. It's. The most disgusting water in no White River is the most good. Geist is nonstop partying, gas boats, people drown there every year. <laughs> like it's it's gross. I've been to two parties on Geist and I was like I'll pass. I'll pass. Come on, sorry. Is it, it by the way, is your name do I pronounce it Siren? So yeah, you know what you if you know what Geist is, it just checks all the stereotype boxes. <laughs> so yeah, they got yeah they got some nice houses and and yeah that restaurant's okay. It's okay. It's just it's pretentious as it gets, and I yeah not my scene. Like people get run over by boats every year. Like, people be trying to swim in a fucking boat will just run them over. I mean, oh, the eclipse was amazing. The eclipse was incredible. We were out on the water. It was amazing. Amazing. That The eclipse was... I wasn't that excited for it, and I was... It was awesome. It was awesome. <clears throat> so... Siren. <laughs> the Ozarks. <laughs> yeah, my buddy's got family on the Ozarks. Here, here, let me, um, wait, I have to, I got to make a call. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back.
All right, sorry, I had to uh, take that. Um, for those of you, for those of you that have DraftKings or have rounds, they just put up Tiger Woods over under seventy two and a half for tomorrow. It's minus one seventy. Take the over. Tiger Woods' body is absolutely falling apart. He shot eighty two today. He could barely walk. All righty. Yes, I I know I was muted. I was sorry. I was t I was doing a phone call uh, with my buddy who just let me know. Uh, Okay, can you guys hear me now? I was not talking to Dana. Oh, about Aljamain Sterling? Ooh. Harrison looks rough. Underdog or FanDuel? There you go. Parlay it with some soccer game that's minus. Parlay it with uh, Inter Milan win or draw. <laughs> Double chance. Just parlay it with something. What Harrison weighs tonight, yeah. Um, what are we hearing about? Eljamain Sterling?
Okay. Let's see the Holly pacing back and forth. Love it. Okay, here we go. What is Holly Holm doing? Oh, wow! Oh, my God. Holly trying to prove a point. What is Holly Holm doing? Oh, my God. Holly saw Jalen Turner and was like, oh, you think you're stupid? Hold my beer. Oh, she's done.
This is just an ass whooping. Good old fashioned ass whooping. <laughs> Remember that time Holly Holm tried to engage <laughs> Kayla Harrison in grappling? <laughs> All right, let's see this let's see this gas tank of uh of Kayla Harrison. Uh, Myron, I would say nobody understands what Holly Holm was attempting to do in that one. My guess is Holly Holm's corner doesn't know what she was trying. But this is this is what I'm saying about Kayla Harrison. She couldn't finish Aspen Ladd. I mean. I know she hasn't been a dominant kickboxer, but you can be a you can be a dominant kickboxer against Kayla Harrison on the feet. You can't you can't you're not gonna be able to take her down and win on the ground. This is just asinine. Maybe they saw something in the film. I bet that's what it was. I bet they saw something in the film. Kayla Harrison going with the uh, Yuri. Oh my God, Holly's just getting manhandled here. Kayla's going with the Yuri haircut. Holly Holmes going with the hungover from the night before. Oh, this is going to be over. She's going to finish this one. Full mount, ground and pound. This is it. Giving up her back. Yeah, that was an easy under. So we got two fights in about an hour and a half, or an hour and 15 minutes. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> oh, that's right. Do they give it to the do they give it to the UFC veteran fig or do they get it give it to the the new the debutante? Come on, those shoulders and arms, natural, come on, come on. <laughs> it's a close up on those shoulders, are you serious? I don't know about that. I, <laughs> I mean, those delts, man, that is, <laughs> that was, <laughs> I mean, that is, that's reminiscent of the uh, East German swimming in the 1970s. <laughs> I don't know. Here, I was going to, let me. Sex Sterling is okay. I don't have an opinion on this one. I'm I'm in the camp of if Aljo takes it to the ground, Aljo can make it a boring fight. But if it's on the feet, Cater is gonna murder him. <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't know what's just gonna happen. It's a big. It's a step up in weight for Aljo. So I I don't know. Yeah, certainly no money betting on it.
Uh, which which segment, which which segment with Prez on was I on? I can't remember. Oh, I was on Tuesday. Oh yeah, I was on. Well, I was on Tuesday to promote the, to do the two to promote the two liar Tuesday, and then I hosted on Wednesday when Prez was there. I. I love doing shows with Prez. I, I, I really do. Every time we do a show together, we text after. It's like, oh, dude, I fucking love doing shows with you, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. See, I, I never know I never know what people think when I do the show because, like, Teddy's the veteran, like, lo- knows NFL, college football, NBA, does the money lines and the spreads and the – and I pretty much do everything that Teddy doesn't. How did you end up working for Wager Talk? Oh my God! Um, so when they were getting started, it was before COVID. I did a, I did some NASCAR work for them, and then like, and then so I did I did some so my buddy got me hooked up with them, and then I got like booted off the website in December. And my buddy had got him hooked up with them. And I was like, hey, I, I think I got booted off a of wager talk or whatever. And Johnny was like, yeah, this guy sucks. He hasn't put in NASCAR plays in like five weeks. And my buddy was like, yeah, it's December. There is no NASCAR season. NASCAR season's over. And Johnny was like, oh. <laughs> so <laughs> originally he kicked me off of wager talk. Because I hadn't put in plays for like six weeks in just in NASCAR. And my buddy was like, dude, there's no NASCAR races. The season has been over. Um, so uh, I was off of wager talk and then COVID hit. And if you remember, what were the first few events? First few sports that came back was NASCAR and golf. And my buddy went to Johnny and was like, you need to get Andy back on there. He, he's got to be one of the only people in the world that does NASCAR and golf and, and knows how to be on video. So I went back and started doing NASCAR and golf. And then they asked me or they asked every handicapper if they had any ideas for new content. And I said props and then bang props is where I really made my mark. And then I started doing takedown live. So I met Corbin. Corbin introduces his crazy soccer plays and tennis. Um, and then we start doing UFC content and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, so I have a degree in telecommunications with a minor in acting. So, I mean, I'm, I'm my, my background is production behind the camera. Um, and, but I can obviously do on the camera and then, before Wager Talk, me and my buddy had a golf podcast. That was where we really got our start was uh, the golf betting guys. I miss doing it. Um, I, we couldn't do, I can't do the content that we did on Wager Talk because it's very R-rated. And I just tons of drops with, with copywritten music and stuff. But we, that was where I got noticed. That was where I pretty much met everybody that I know in the industry. And then, so...
so yeah, I I definitely had previous previous media experience. So yeah, I I I directed two movies that got overseas distribution deals when I was in my twenties. I mean, they didn't do they you know they didn't do anything. They're just small independent films. But yeah, I I uh, I didn't work. I didn't get to meet him, but I did a a pitch video with Bill Goldberg. Um, he did the voiceover and I did all the, I shot all the video and edited all the video and then he did the voiceover and sent it to me. I never got to, I never got to like meet him and work like directly with him, but that was pretty cool. I did a video with Kevin Nash, the wrestler. We did a half hour TV show with him. Oh, one of my first cool videos that I did was with a UFC fighter by the name of Sergio Pettis. I think I've told you that story. Talking about OSU football at a noon takedown live card, yeah. Well, An- Andrew and I are <laughs> Andrew and I might be the two youngest people out there, but Andrew's like eighteen years younger than me. I can't believe he submitted Corey Sanhagen. Oh, come on. Sorry. I can't say that. It's just, it's different. It's different. It's just different for everybody. Yeah, you know, I I think about this way more than I should. I get it. But I, like, for the last, like, six months, I've really been, like, sh- like not struggling, but just, like, the idea in my head, like, what is a professional handicapper? What is a – like, what value – like, why should people, you know, purchase picks? And it's not – it's not just the winning. I mean, obviously, winning is number one. It's a results-based business. But I, 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 I would hope that, like, when someone gets my picks, they're different, or it's it's unique. It's a unique way to look at a sport or something. But I know not everyone like. Not, like not everyone gives a shit about that. Like people are like, I just want to know what your pick is for Monday Night Football. And it's like, it's the Patriots plus three and a half. And it's like, why? And it's like, well, because they throw the ball and they got good defense. And I don't know. There's just not much. I don't know. Sometimes I don't I don't know what separates anybody from that. So I, I do take pride that we try and do some different things and that we look at it different. And then the other thing, like, is... The other thing is I I personally really try and base my picks a lot around yearly and 30-day subscribers. And so I I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys it I I wish more people in our industry did this. Not taking the huge big losing streaks. It drives me nuts when someone at the end of the year is like, I was up 50 units this year. And you're like, yeah, but you also lost half a bankroll over a weekend. 
And that's not factored in to the units. So, like, at the end of the year, I want to be able to say, hey, we're up, but we also didn't get you smoked in a, in a bad losing streak. Like, losing streaks going to happen. Like, the ups and downs are fine. But I, it, I, 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 there's an art to what I do, I think. It's not just putting out 5% or 4% plays every single day and then that's it. Like, there's... Like in March, we were we were fucking rolling. So it was like, keep putting out plays, man. Keep putting out plays. We had a 55 unit, you know, March, but we're pulling back in April. Now I will say today has looked today has looked good so far. The last week shaky, but that's why we lay off plays. Like I I I I am all in now on this thing about not playing very many plays. We only had four baseball plays this year. We're three and one. Perfect. Perfect. If I can keep doing that at that clip for a whole baseball season, I'll be happy. <laughs> What's up, Mo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bob. Like, like you couldn't possibly compare my volume with Gianni's. You could. It, it's impossible. You couldn't. Gianni probably has more plays today than I will have in two weeks. And so you just, like, you just can't compare it. It doesn't, not, like, like it, not say one's better than the other. It just, like, Gianni would never put out, like, one play. And I, I wouldn't put out, you know, a bunch of different ones. So. No, I don't get salary. So those of you, I mean, I'll just tell you guys, Steve's not, Steve's in bad health. Steve is in the hospital for a while. I haven't talked to him in a few days. I don't know if he's still there. Steve got COVID really, really bad. Not, not last football season, but the football season before that. And he is not fully, he's not been the same since he's had complications after complications after complications so he's been he's been able to put out put out plays but he can't do videos or anything so so i i yeah no 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 steve seagrave the guy the guy that i would do the unbreakable sports record hall of fame with yeah he's not in good shape All right, here we go. Love this stylistic matchup. <laughs> I I had to highlight it. <laughs> oh Mo. Oh my god. The Kayla Harrison shoulders. <laughs>
Mm, here we go. Here's the single. Oh, here we go. Aljo looks big. I I got to say Aljo looks big. So Aljo is con Aljo's controlling the pace. This is what. Aljo's trying to get that back. Ragdolling, straight ragdolling. Does anyone else think Sterling looks like he's slowing down? He looks tired. Oh, oh, he was just setting it up. Never mind. <laughs> I, I, that's what, I, that's what I was saying. Case, like seriously, I was like. Am, are my eyes different than DC's? Because DC and Rogue, like, he looks great. He looks fresh. I'm like, he looks like he's falling apart. <laughs> like, oh, man. I, but then he does like a quick entry and single leg takedown. But I, on the feet, he definitely looks. <laughs> I'm glad you guys noticed that, too. <laughs> Yeah, JC, get that in. I don't get where they came up with 72 and a half. I, I that that blows my mind. I know the pin positions are easier on Sunday than they are on Saturday, but the greens are still really fast. Weather is great, but the, but the thing is, the course is drying out. The weather was great today. The weather was fine today. the The wind was the wind wasn't like like it was on Friday. The wind was like ten, fifteen miles an hour. It's that's not a big deal with those guys. The thing is now that it, it it's more dry, so everything's faster. So those greens are going to be like putting on a sidewalk tomorrow. So the pin positions are easier, but I mean the thing with Tigers, just he's, his body is just dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, that Sunday morning NFL show will absolutely continue. Yeah, for sure. We – that was so much fun. It And it was great. I, I don't want to toot my own horn, but that was a damn, damn good one. Yeah, but the gusts of winds are only on certain holes. 
There's a lot of holes where they don't even really get where the wind isn't that big. Damn. Cater looks like shit. Yeah, this 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 makes the Andrade Rodriguez fight. I mean, that's what that this was the one I was I think I was mostly worried mostly worried about was this right here. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that Jim Miller and Bobby Green are still still got fight of the night after this one. <clears throat> I mean, like, how do you, like, <laughs> how do you think Sterling feels when he's, like, putting on this classic, like, grappling domination? <laughs> he gets up and he's like, I'm winning. And the crowd's like, boo, you suck.
This is awful. It's a little bit, little bit exciting. Why do people hate him? Because he does shit like this. Yeah, and the Patreon knee. I mean. It's but <clears throat> talk of a meet and greet in Vegas. I don't know, probably again.
so a couple weeks ago, I didn't get a good night of sleep. Middle of the afternoon, wasn't doing anything. So I went and laid in bed, fell asleep, dozed for a little bit, tossed and turned, dozed for a little bit. That nap was more exciting than that fight. I would rather relive that nap than that fight. Awful. Awful. Oh, Guinness? Guinness is 14 years old. Guinness just had a few more teeth removed. He's He doesn't have very many teeth left, poor little guy. <laughs> like, but he'll, he's, he's healthy as hell, man. He had a brother that lived to almost 18. So he's going to, he shows no signs of slowing down. Okay. Let's let's get a How is Alexander Rackage number five? Guys, fuck two years. How how do they keep doing this with the rankings? <laughs> Just <laughs> like
I don't know, the Rackage, Rackage can slow the pace down to a snail. I don't know. I don't, and he's coming off of a knee injury. I don't know what the, I have no idea what we're going to get. We'll get this fight done, and then it is take a little break and a little walk time for me, stretch my legs. I would recommend the same for y'all. Oh, thank yeah, Bob. Our 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 uh, our NBA futures were dope, dope. Those were. I, I'm I'm so in on futures, man. There's such a hidden gem. There's such a hidden gem that that people just don't take serious. I mean, that's just going to be an extra like ten units, twelve units added onto the NBA season. Like, just we did it in NFL too. We we've, we've done it in every sport. The funniest one that I wish we would have gone 20 units on, which was the, 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 the lock of the millennium, the, the, the ever. There has never been an easier play than last year's Formula One season. We had Lewis Hamilton under three and a half wins. <laughs> Red, Red Bull won every race. <laughs> he had zero. <laughs> Hey, I don't think he even competed really for a win, <laughs> let alone four. That was a real play that was available. I think we played it for like 2% last year. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, Derek, I I feel like every, I feel like everyone's split on this one. The Jamal Hill lovers uh, just ignore it and say he's fine. I refuse to believe that he's fine and a hundred percent. I've heard that the one of the things that the sharps are on is that Pereira doesn't. He's not good with punches right down the middle, and that's what Hill does. Jamal Hill does not have big legs. Pereira's got some wicked leg kicks.
Yo, those leg kicks are fucking nice from Rakic. Those are nice. Yo, Rakic is destroying that leg of Yuri, and that's what Pereira did. Yo, Yuri's leg is, I mean, those kicks are crazy. This is going to be over soon. <gasps> he can't even stand on it. They're not letting you live bet. Damn it. Oh, minus 345. Oh, <laughs> Rackett just, Rackett just rocked. <laughs> Damn. Man, Yuri's leg is hurting. I almost... No, I'm not. I'm having a good night. Having a good night. Don't. Don't don't jinx it. Don't push it. Thank you. 
Look at the outside of that left leg of Yuri. My God. It's, it's wild, man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Rockets is dead now. <laughs> Knee. <laughs> this is what oh, is he trying to do? Break his arm? <laughs> a wild ass fight. <laughs> <There was a laughs> that was wild. Yuri's legs are going to hurt so bad tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right, I am going to take a little walk, stretch the legs. Little break time.
All righty. What are we doing here, people? Main card. Cheers. I'm sorry, man. I cannot believe they're showing us highlights of Jamal Hill knocking out Jimmy fucking Crute. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> this man's a killer. Look at him knock out this guy that's not in the UFC anymore. <laughs> Look at him knocking out Glover Teixeira. He's not in the UFC anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> Is Bovada legal in the non-legalized state? Dates, I, like, I've been told that, that they can't get them in New York or New Jersey. I have it, <laughs> again, because I live in the best state for gambling. What's the, the There you go. There's a great bar trivia for your, for your buddies. What's the greatest state to live in if you're a gambler? No, it's not Nevada. <laughs> it's Indiana. Absolutely, Bob. Oh, we'll meet up. She. Tell me where you live. I'll I'll jump on there. I'll jump out there. Hmm.
Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Jim would have been fi Jim's fine. <laughs> little sprinkle on bow round two or three yeah round two I mean I mean he he basically said round two I Cody Brundy made the last two siren siren no 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 we're 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 here tonight to escape all of that nobody respond just no 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 don't don't bring that stuff up don't, don't we're here to, we're here for USC 300 this is, this is our escape from the real world. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, Bo said, I want to win around two. But, man, that is... Cody Brunage fights have been such circuses the last couple times. The last few of them. Just like... I, I don't know. I'm probably, I'm probably biased because I got burned by Cody fuck not Brunage in that... That freaking, that, uh, uh, whatever, the Malcoon fight. God, prayer was a big, big mofo, man. God, he's big. God, he's big. Bubbles, <laughs> you stupid man. <laughs> Completely ridiculous. <laughs> Drickus or Izzy? I have Drickus. Izzy looked awful in his last fight, and I just wonder if he's just, if it's just, thank you for the memories, Izzy. Maybe he comes back and looks amazing, but he was terrible. Uh, he just looked not in it against Strickland. Sometimes it's just too much. I, I, I wish I would have played my hunch that the, the hunch was that the Pereira fight was just his pinnacle. That was it. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do some look-aheads. I have to start writing my article tomorrow. 
Lipsky and Silva. Keep betting against Lipsky at your own peril. Take Lipsky. Lane and Denise. No. Petrovic and Nalier. <laughs> Petrovic is already minus 455. Nalier. We can bet against Marnik Mann. God, Marnik Mann's pretty bad. Let me look up something here. All right, so who is this Diniz guy? Oh, Victor Henry over Ronnie Yaya. Give me a break. Did Diniz come off a contender series? He did. That's right. Oh, and over Eduardo Neves. Yeah. I, I would take Austin Lane. I don't like these contender series guys. Uh, Austin Hubbard's fight against Mega Figlack. Is that really a fight that's still happening? Michael. F Michael Figlack lost to Zeon. Um. Hmm, Kellen Souza. I mean, Marduk Mann's terrible. Gabriel Benitez versus Machate. That's an interesting one. Dante Mays and Kai Machado. Not betting any, but yeah, I mean, Victor Henry, yeah. Tim Means and Medic. Hmm. I mean, Joel Alvarez at plus 190 is crazy. It's crazy. I don't know if some of these line, some of these fights are still happening. Gabe Green versus this James Lamta. I remember this James Lamta. I didn't like either of them. Hmm, that's interesting. So Noah, I got Prez told me wait a couple of weeks until the entire series of Shogun is out, and then you can watch them all. All righty, here we go. Buckle up. No, it's starting right now.
over or under 16.5 SS? What's SS? What's SS? What's SS? Oh, significant strikes. <laughs> I stay away from all the striking stats because I don't. I truly do not know what is a significant strike anymore in the UFC. I used to think when you hit somebody, it was a significant strike, but apparently it's like <laughs> doesn't count unless they feel like it. Super secret. Yeah, 16 and a half super secrets. Slick suaves. Yep, yep. Skunk skewers. Yeah, I, I, I... What's a takedown? It's like, well, you know, you're going to take them down, but then you have to, like, do something with it. Like, well, what does that mean? You and me both, JC. <laughs> Something's weird. We haven't had an eye poke or a low blow yet. <laughs> if ever there was a fight, it's the Cody Brundage one. <laughs> <laughs> he is he is pretty vanilla.
parlays around the world are This is great. DC, I love when DC just goes down as wrestling. Love Cody coming out with the flying knee and the back fist and Absolutely, that was awesome. All right, Cody. Come on, Cody. Survive this. Let's get, get this thing to round two, buddy. Oh, shit. The choke isn't in there. It's not even close, but... Oh, bro, but he didn't, Bo Nickel doesn't have him out. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Two more minutes, buddy. Come on. Come on, Brennan. Get out of there. One minute thirty. Come on, Cody. No, that arm out from underneath your neck. One minute. Come on, Cody. No. Good wrist fighting. 45 seconds. Come on, Cody. <laughs> this is great. Come on. Cody, this is unbelievable. All because of a video you, that was floating around on Twitter. They're booing the Bo Nickel fight. Let's go. Start round two. Let's go. Damn, I should have 5% of that. What would you guys, what would you all access clients have done if you, won't, if you got an email notification? It was like 5%. Let's <laughs> go. 
<laughs> Easy money. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a bow nickel fish in round two? Yeah, unleash hell. Okay, here's where the weirdness comes. This is this has got to be a weirdness. The we this has got to be where something weird happens. All the all the the writings on the wall for something fucking weird. Oh oh. Are they booing Bo Nickel? This is great. They're booing Bo Nickel. This fight is a fucking snooze fest. Oh my God! Is is I mean is is seriously is Cody Brundage gonna like take this decision? Or is Bo just gonna screw around and get more case? Oh, there he goes. That's in there. Bo Nickel round two, and we're all winners.
totally did that on purpose. I've been I've said from the very beginning the Jim Miller Bobby Green fight should have opened up this. Which would you have rather watched? I, no no question. You put Bobby Green and Jim Miller on the fucking card. That's, that was silly. Why? Why? It was just that's a terrible matchmaking decision. There's something weird about Bo Nickel. Dude, Fluffy will murder this guy. <laughs> Fluffy? <laughs> give me give me that fight. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffield. <laughs> he wants to fight Fluffy? Give me a break. Wait, what? Wait. All right, hold on. <laughs> I did, it's like, <laughs> we get Fluffy versus Bo Nickel. <laughs> hold on, I need to load up my DraftKings account. <laughs> Can anyone describe, can anyone explain to me the backstory of how Valentina Shevchenko ended up sitting next to Kyler Murray? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what was that?
Seriously, anybody? Can anyone explain the Kyler Murray and Valentina Shevchenko? Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, the general rule is my Charles Oliveira plus money is you just take it. I mean, under is, I mean, Charles Oliveira and unders is also the way to go. <laughs> Super <laughs> Call of Duty. <laughs>
I mean, unders is the way to bet a Charles Oliveira fight. He gets popped at least once per fight hard. Yeah, not great. Not great. We need a you know, wake up after that one. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I just under, fight not to go the distance. All right, here we go. That's Rookie and already cut on the nose. Does he have a big scar on the bridge of his nose?
No, no. He got out. Olivera's about it, though. And now Sarukian's shorts are falling off. Our pet's heads are falling off. Oh. oh, man, great groundwork by both guys. Just missed with that elbow. Oh, that elbow would have been lights out. Sarukian. Amazing. Mark Smith is lost. He's lost. Mark Smith is so lost right now. He doesn't know if he's in a UFC match or a ping pong match. He has no fucking clue what's going on. Time! Tom! Up! Go see the doctor! Meanwhile, Srukin's like, no, I'm going to keep position. I'm going to keep the fight going. Tom! Go see the doctor! Mark Smith is lost. So the up kick's not allowed because he's grounded. You can't do an up kick to a fighter that's on the ground. All right, Mark Smith, I have a little bit more faith in Mark Smith. He fight, I, I was just waiting for him to stand him up. Mark Smith's circus.
Wow. Yeah, we know that one. <laughs> Okay, here we go. This round is where Charles takes a big shot to the face. There we go. There's that striking defense of Oliveira. Man, is this going to be a, another one that goes the distance?
Hmm, not the most exciting fight, guys. Technical. That's what I was a little bit worried about. Mmm, there's some good elbows. Now we're getting a little violence. I think it's 1-1. One, one. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, triangle. Yeah, okay. You're right. We need to do a Joe Rogan. Um. Oh, we heard him. Oh, we had a triangle. Yep. What's another one? Uh, this one, that one's in tight. <laughs> what are the other Joe Rogan phrases? Oh, we heard him. That's in tight. Oh, it's a triangle. Yeah, I think it's classic. I haven't looked at live lines in for forever. It's got to be Saruki and Big, yeah, fourteen fifty. <clears throat>
told you all that $300,000 thing was the stupidest thing. Oh, oh, it's going to be tons of finishes. They're going to hit harder. Oh. Is it under? This is crazy. Okay. Over. It's cr fucking these, these, man, these overs. I would think Sarukian. Split decision. Gotta be split. Gotta be split here. Took too much time with the scorecards.
Split. Here we go. Srookin gets it. All right, now we got the three bangers. The three bangers. That was Gilbert Burns and Robocop behind him.
What is this? Oh, the Hall of Fame. Oh, the Chael Sonnen. Unbelievable. The craziest. The cra uh, You could argue the craziest finish ever. Unbelievable. That was, God damn, was that bonkers. They just showed Chael Soda's best fight, which is when he lost. <laughs> A little weird. I know, it's so weird, isn't it? He was seconds away from <laughs> beating him. Oh, my God. All right, bathroom break, fresh in my drink.
Alrighty. Um, I like I I think Max is live. Absolutely, Max is live. I mean, he's he just obviously can't take the big. He's just got to he he's got to get a lot of volume in on Gagey early and try and soften him up. <laughs> Vito, Vito is <laughs> love it. Oh, come on, Vito. Tell your lady she's welcome on the show anytime with humor like that. She got jokes like that? She's welcome.
All righty. All right, let's do this. I can't imagine live betting this. I'm not live betting anything. By the way, what's the under? Parlayed over this fight. Parlayed over this over one and a half with Fig and Wiley. All right, so we need over. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, so we need over one and a half. That's what I'm rooting for with you. We already got Fig. Love it. Cash to Fig parlay as well. Uh, and why lay over one and a half? I think you're good to go. Let's just avoid the early KO on this one. Let's do that, shall we? Shall we do that? Okay. Let's root for... So we want over one and a half. We want a violent over one and a half. All right, here we go. This is the one that I would have had as the main event, so I'm stoked.
So Max is doing a good job of, like, he's jumping back whenever he sees Gagey start to throw one of those leg kicks. I mean, Gagey landed that one, but you see Max jumping way back. Smart. Oh. He wobbled Gagey. I like those little touches that Holloway's given on the outside of Gagey's leg. It's not it's not to do damage. It's to just make him think about one little thing. Like like th they're doing absolutely nothing but it's just a, something where you just touch the opponent a little bit. Maybe you get him to flinch. Man, Holloway's getting fine in the mark. I have this first round going to max. <gasps> oh. <gasps> he destroyed Gagey's nose. He destroyed Gagey's nose. Gagey's nose is destroyed. Absolutely shattered Gagey's nose. Shattered it. Oh my God. At just, that is such a problem. All right, so so now I'm seeing the live lines as minus 105 Gagey. So does he do something here to start the round? Because Gagey's nose is fucked. Gagey's nose is fucked.
Is there? Are, does anybody have live lines on this? Gagey's, Gagey's in such deep shit. It are there live lines? Minus 450. Oh, so DraftKings is just messed up. Oh, my God. Him trying to go four more rounds against the boxing of Holloway? No way. Oh, come on. Not an eye poke. Oh, that's a bad eye poke. This is a tough spot for Gagey because he just he could be like, I can't see it's over, but it's a BMF. <laughs> it's a BMF. <laughs> oh, no. Gagey's not going out. Yeah, G Gagey. <laughs> Gage Gagey's not giving up. You gotta love it. Give the man a bonus. This is such an uphill battle for Gagey, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eye poke and the broken nose. I'm not, I'm not sure where is. I'm just saying you could par you could take Max Holloway live and parlay it with uh, Prayer and Hill to not go the distance. <clears throat> you get like minus you get like minus one eighty five. Noah, they don't do they don't take points. No, Noah, they don't take points for eye pokes. We saw this in the Chris Weidman fight. They're perfectly fine. That's fine. Brush it off, bro. <laughs> they don't do that, Noah. The new gloves.
Mm, good body kick by Holloway. He's landed a couple of those body kicks this round. For the first time, I actually, like, agree with DC there. I wonder if the... That was a good one. Oh, it did it again. It did that spinning. Oh! Here we go. Now we're brawling. Now it's the, now it's the BMF title. <laughs> no, no. They, sit on, they all sit on different sides. God. So I know the leg kicks of Gagey are damaging Holloway. I just don't think it's making a big difference in the fight. Like so far, it like Holloway's not not adjusting stances. He's just kind of like muscling through it. I mean, it's got to hurt like a motherfucker, but. Gage, Gagey's starting to lower his guard. You can see him start to guard the body. Yeah, so Noah, they're all it's a it's like a triangle. Like they all have different viewpoints. But they're below they're below the cage, which I think is stupid. They should be watching what we're watching. Like on mute, of course, not without <laughs> hi Joe Rogan and <laughs> not without Joe Rogan on, on edibles in DC talking about wrestling jargon that we don't know anything about. Mute. <laughs> if you, I like, the only reason I know this is because we used to do videos for the MMA, for, not UFC, uh, for one of the local promotions, and I was one of the cameramen, we were up on the cage, and what you can see looking down is fucking amazing. And then I like went and sat down at the table where the judges are and you're like, it looks like a different fight. It is. It looks like a completely different fight. And I will tell you, I never once thought I had a better view down. I always thought I had a better view up.
Nice bubbles. Yeah, Bob, I... It'd be tough to give Gagey a round. I'm not sure. If anything, I, I don't know what round you'd give him. But... Yeah, Holloway's almost minus 400, minus 375. Holloway's not slowing down, man. Like, Holloway's got great cardio anyways, and this is, like, totally his fight. Standing, jabbing, like, like his cardio is, I mean, this is, this is his pace. This is exactly what kind of fight he wants. Who's looking old? Oh, good shots to the face. Oh, Holloway caught him, caught Gagey right on the nose. Damn. Dude, this fucking hurts. Oh man, dude, I my nose is hurting. Oh, my nose is hurting. He's murdering that nose. Just murdering it. Ugh. Gagey can't see or breathe. Good God. Know you're a honker. That's great. Oh, damn. Boxing of Holloway is just dialed in. Good moment for Gagey. Okay, Max is slowing down a little bit.
I'm I'm pretty surprised how well the nose of Gagey is actually held up, man. Yeah, what a weird, what a weird. <laughs> Who would have thought Max uh, Max Holloway's most damaging weapon has been the spinning back heel kick? Never, like you don't see him do that. Oh. Oh. My God. <laughs> JC. <laughs> JC. <laughs> oh, another one. Jesus Christ. How many of those back kicks are we using in it? My God, Gagey is beat to shit. <laughs> Over four and a half, it's amazing. Oh, another shot from Hop. Man, what a what an ass kicking so far, so far. Now we've seen this with Leon Edwards and uh, fucking uh, Usman, so anything's possible. Oh, my God. Oh, my 
<laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Pour one out for whoever had Max Holloway by decision. <gasps> I hope Gagey's knee is okay. Oh, I hope Ga Oh, I hope Gagey's right knee is okay. I hope I hope I seriously hope Justin Gagey's knee is okay. The way that that thing went down, that could have dislocated or torn Noah, I so hope you're right, brother. I really hope you're right. <laughs> I mean <laughs> That's fucking incredible Rich, it's not Kyler Murray slander. Far from it. I, I could make the case Kyler Murray's a bad motherfucker for scoring seats next to Valentina Shevchenko. There, there's no Kyler Murray slander. I was just like, how does Valentina Shevchenko end up next to, next to Kyler Murray? Like, 
Are they friends? How? Like, Kyler Murray's like, you know, I was throwing darts in practice, and Valentina was training, so then we got to mixing it up, and then we started talking, and then we were like, you want to go to UFC 300? I would love to. How does that happen? There's no, there's no slander. It's just, like, I love the celebrity, like, pairings at these big events, because you're like, how? How do they end up together? It's amazing. <laughs> like, it's... It's just, no, there was no, no, it was like, no, far from it. I just, I, if anything, I love it. Like if, if Kyler Murray were to come out tomorrow or tonight or whatever and be like, Kyler, how was UFC, UFC, UFC 300? And he was like, I was there with my girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Me and, yeah. Me and Valentina, like we're, we're friends. Stock through the roof. <laughs> Stock through the roof. No, I like yo, know, complete opposite of Kyler Murray slander. Complete opposite. Just I just love the randomness of some of the celebrities that <laughs> sit next to each other. Valentina Shevchenko top 3 on my list of UFC fighters I would love a one night party with cuz I bet shit gets crazy with her. Shit gets crazy. Mike Perry clear number 1. That was I would rather see – so if you guys watch me and Jim do the do the UFC breakdown video when we did the – what ranking of video – what's the ranking of fights? Let's see how good we're doing. We would have, so we would have put Gagey, we put Gagey Holloway as the main event. That's an awesome fucking main event. And then we had Andrade Rodriguez open up, Turner Moicano, Yusef Lopez, Yuri and Rakic, Fig Garbrandt, Holm Harrison. I think we nailed our, I think we nailed our fight order. I think we nailed it. I think it's better than this one.
Pantoja's gonna rip the fucking head off of Ursag. I think this fight's going to be awesome. All right, I'm going to grab my uh, Jamal Hill bottle of wine real quick.
Alrighty. Well, yeah, Z yeah, Zhang should try and wrestle. Yeah, that's why she's the minus. She's the big, uh, big favorite. <clears throat> if she can't, or I mean, I mean, she's she's going to be able to wrestle. But if she if it's not as dominant, if Jan is ready for it, Jan has a chance on the feet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is a fucking awesome bottle of wine. That's so good. So I, I got the Wither Hills. So it's pretty hard to find a bottle of wine with the with the word Pereira in it. But I was like, Hill. I bet I could find Hill. And then I saw Wither Hills. It's also fun it's also tough to find a bottle of wine with the words Wiley Zhang. <laughs> but I'm glad I got this because this is fucking delicious. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, Casey. <laughs> sorry. Um, sorry. Um, I think... If it stays on the feet, this is an awesome fight. This is just an awesome fight. And if there is attempts at wrestling and she doesn't get them, she doesn't get them down, then it's an awesome fight. If she does get them down, then it's terrible. And I stand corrected.
I get it, JC. I'm just... I had this cir- I had this circled as the big time bed shitter, like the the absolute wild, like wow that came out of nowhere, and I made the case that these two women trained harder than anybody else on this card. The pride that they have, the cultural relevance, the importance to their country, the importance to them, like everything. They probably were the one, if of every fighter on this card, these two are the ones that put in a little bit extra time. And I just think it's going to be an amazing one. Oh, Ian Parker's. Oh my God. Video. There's there's like crowd sending in cell phone video of fucking Halloween. <laughs> Jeez, oh, damn. Cheers, guys. Good God. Good God. I'm, 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 I'm still winding down from the Holloway knockout. Mother of God. Mother of God. <laughs> don't, don't let, come on, Zhang Yan. Do not let us down. Don't let us down. Give me an awesome fucking fight. Can I make a prediction? I'm going to make a bold prediction after this after this fight. I'm going to make a bold prediction. I'm going to talk about it all week. Get out of there, Jan. Why are you trying to wrestle? So dumb. Oh my god. Look look at those look at the flex arms of Wiley Zane. God damn. Even Kayla Harrison's like, you're on roids.
knowing you would pay for that. I would pay for you to enjoy it. I would do that for you. I'd pay her with wager bucks, but... Oh! I let her, yep. Smart move by Jan. Let her up. That's a big moment. You you hold even with this round. You win it. I feel bad for them. I feel bad for those women. All that, like, everybody is decompressing after the Holloway Gagey fight. I feel bad for them. Like, you can just feel everyone just needs a break <laughs> after the excitement, man. Bubbles, I will I will go out on a limb and say that they're going to give Gagey and Holloway and Miller and Green the bonuses. It's UFC 300. Because honestly, a lot of these fights have been fucking turds. Like, Erie fight was great. But Miller and Green, especially the guy that makes it from 100 to 200 to 300, yeah, they, they'll get their bonus. Oh my God. That's it. Oh my God. Oh my God. She ain't tapping. Like neither of these women are tapping. It's just not going to happen. Uh oh, <laughs> they're talking about giving her smelling salts. <laughs> uh, this is wild. What the hell, man? Uh 
Oh my God! Something's getting ready to happen because Wiley is minus twenty one hundred, <laughs> minus forty thousand. Will she take her down here? Jan's going to get up here. Oh, she's done. There's Wiley Zhang by just manslaughter. I know, Bob, every round, right? It's just barbaric. It's crazy. <laughs> Significant ground strike strikes. Are you serious? <laughs> Look at Jan. Go, Jan. Told you. These ladies, man, nobody's trained harder for this. You, 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 you will have to wheel Jan out of here. And then they might, but. Yeah. <laughs> 
I love Jan's corner. Jan's corner. She was just choked out unconscious in round one. We needed to do some special Chinese magic shit to like push on her nose to get her to wake up. She just got ragdolled in round two, and their corner was like, I need you to work on your sidekick. <laughs> Hey, let's get that sidekick working. <laughs> like, look at her. She couldn't tell you her own name at this point. She absolutely couldn't. If you were like, what is your name? She would be like, four. <laughs> Wild. Wild. <laughs> I need you to work on your sidekick. Oh, my God. I don't know what I would tell her. I mean, but here's... She's she's live on the feet. Unbelievable. Jan is just like. Here it goes. Jan, I'm telling you, Jan on the feet. Jan on the feet. The problem is she's so far down. Kicking the woman's hamstring, glutes, or thighs. How much damage do those do? I don't want. I, I don't want to state the obvious, but K say. Have one of your friends come over, lay down, on your back with your legs up, and have him, an amateur, kick you seventeen times in the back of the legs. Now imagine a professional UFC fighter doing that. <laughs> Something big is getting ready to happen here. The problem though is Jan Jan may have gotten it Jan may have gotten ten aided.
So what do we think it is here? 10, 8, 10, 9, and then 9, 10? I mean, I, th I think Jan need, man, if they didn't give it a, if they did not give it a 10, 8. But how do you not give that a 10, 8? She was unconscious. This card, th this scorecard is going to get messy. If Wiley Zhang wins convincingly one more round, then it's okay. Then then Zhang is good. But these these card these scorecards could be close. But here's the thing: Jan appears to have more energy due to the smelling salts Chinese magic. Nose trick. Take your profit. Love you guys. Love you, Vito. Love you, Bob. Lock in that profit. Profit is tough in this industry. There you go. Now, Wiley's. Well, the draw, I mean, the draw is always a, it, it, it absolutely could happen, but on live lines, you don't, it's just a void. You don't lose anything. This fight sucks to watch. I was wrong. I was wrong.
Okay, this is this is Zhang's. Unless there's a finish, Zhang's winning this. All right, so it's Zhang for sure. Nice job, Noah. Oh, that's a good one. Start round five, minus 110. Damn, that's a good one. Damn. Jealous. Except of course. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, some good caveat. <laughs> no, that's too fucking funny. <laughs> And 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 not only unconscious, like, but in round one, <laughs> like, not just like, oh, it was pretty close, <laughs> like last round. No, it was like round one. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> We are we are forgetting about that that the woman in the white shorts and the white top was absolutely unconscious at the end of round one. <laughs> the woman fighting going toe to toe with the best in the world was absolutely knocked out.
Yeah, this fight sucks. Eh, blah. I was I was completely wrong about the excitement level of this one. Who wins the Masters? Scotty Scheffler. I just don't think anybody's minus 115. Yeah. Colin Mogakawa, he'll choke. Homa, no. A Bear. No, it's Scheffler. Mm, fight of the night. So fine, how long did they give? Well, we still have we still have prayer in Hill, and I think there's a knockout in that one. I don't know what it is though. you push hmm yeah we'll see what they do they got to give something to, to Miller and Green they got to give something to Gagey and Holloway hmm boy submission Hmm. Man. That's tough. Man, tough. Jesus, what a not an exciting fight. I know, JC, but like for this event, it's going to be different. I feel like it's going to be different. I, f I, I just feel like Dana's got surprises. Somebody has like 
great submission. I I I just feel like Dana's going to I feel like Dana's going to go nuts on on this card. Hey, everyone put your eyes back in your head looking at the translator. Come on now. Let's be adults here. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want to stop. I see I I see what you all are seeing with the interpreter. Stop it. <clears throat> yeah, Holloway won't get two bonuses. I I I just I feel like Dana's going to be like this should this fight deserves a bonus and this finish deserves a bonus and this like for UFC 300 like Bo Nickel's not getting a bonus. Yuri maybe Yuri maybe gets a little bonus. Hmm, I don't know. No oh boy. No oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. She, uh, Wiley Zhang's not going to get a bonus for an interview of the night, for sure. Wow, then Wiley Zhang says, hey, come to China. We love you in China. Yeah, Bubbles. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of Chinese. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Chinese fetishes. Uh, fans, fans. I said fans. I meant fans. I meant fans. Mm, JC, I don't see a world in which this fight goes the distance. I could be wrong. I don't know when it ends. I just think you have two guys that are going to be going for finishes hard and early. If they don't get them hard and early, I think someone gasses and then... So, yeah, the one and a half, I I don't know. I just like not to go the distance. Yeah, but JC, he finished Jimmy Crute. They keep showing the replays of him finishing Jimmy Crew. I, I, 
I like I don't know why like five rounds. Does either of them have five rounds? Jamal Hill coming off of Achilles surgery and Alex Pereira like these aren't. This isn't five. This is not five rounds. These guys are not going going the distance. I just don't. I don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see a long fight. I agree, JC. So I will I will tell you a little story here. Now the fight's starting, I can tell it. So I was talking to Kyle Anthony. Kyle Anthony was like a few rows outside of the cage when that fight happened, Pereira Yuri. And he said he said Pereira hit Yuri with these three leg kicks that the thud just like echoed. Like it was such a brutal like leg kick and he was with somebody and they, he landed three leg kicks and Yuri started uh, switching stances and they both were like, oh, Yuri's done. Like his legs smoked. He can't, he can't move around on it. And you just saw Yuri take a bunch of kicks with Rackage and still get the KO. But against Pereira, those leg kicks were just like it. And it only took three. That's what Kyle said. And we watched that fight and you can see, I don't know, man, nine months off of Achilles. Jamal Hill does not have big legs. That being said, I mean, Alex Pereira's weakness is getting hit up the middle. But the one guy that's done it is Adesanya. All right. Pee break right before. All right, here we go. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to wait much longer.
<laughs> JC, I'm with you. Okay. I am still stunned that the crowd is behind Alex Pereira. I still, I, I still. Mm. Oh my god, Jamal Hill. I mean, it, like take the unders. 
Hill Hill is gonna go for the he's gonna go for the kill shot early. He's gonna have to. He's just <laughs> You can tell Hill is going to go ballistic at the beginning. All right, guys. Look at that flab on Jamal Hill. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look at how fat Jamal Hill is. Jamal Hill's going to come out. I mean, he's just going to he's going to have to come out throwing haymakers. He's going to he's going to have to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish they had heart rate monitors on people that had bets on this fight. <laughs> Come on, Buffer. Nail this. Come on, Buffer. Fucking Buffer's getting after it. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone, on your bets here.
Don't blink, kids. Do not blink. Oh man, I'm I This is going to be fucking intense, man. Someone's going to sleep. I, I I'm in. I, I am all in. I mean the fl I mean the flab is a thing Well bubbles it's the gloves look at the tape on the gloves I think. Probably not. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, good night. Good night. Come on, put him out. Put him out. Put him out. It's it. That's got to be it. Let's fucking go. Yes. Let's go. Cash it. Let's fucking cash it. 5% cash. Just bang. Yeah, the 5% play was uh was Alex Pereira. I mean, easy money. Easy money. That that should have been a forty percent play. I mean, that wasn't even a wasn't even a fair fight. Mm. 
Jesus Christ. Achilles injury. Achilles injury, nine months, no fucking chance. No fucking chance. Dude, Jamal Hill's so out of shape. My God. I mean, the, the the unders was, I mean, the unders, my God. The unders was the fucking, was the best. Jesus. Wasn't even competitive. Look at fat fuck Jamal Hill. If you're Jamal Hill, you got to do it, though. They offer you a shitload of money. That's the biggest payday of his entire life. His next fight won't even pay three-fourths of what he got. Like, seriously, Jamal Hill's next fight, it won't be three-quarters of what he made tonight. He's set. He can take a long time off and actually get healthy. Nice night, Bob. Wonder who's next for prayer. This will be interesting. Do you know to, the fight to not start round four was minus 165? What? Oh, my God. Smoked him. Not even. 
Not even competitive. Good God, guys, I'm... I can't believe people glossed over the Achilles injury. I just can't believe it. Jamal Hill looked like shit. Good stuff, guys. Good, good stuff. Thanks, William. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Vito. Thanks, Noah. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Siren. You're probably right. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> like, just... All right, guys, I am out of here. Let's get up early and watch Tiger Woods shoot over 72 and a half. Let's hope he doesn't withdraw. This happened to us in his last tournament. Um, yeah, the bonuses will be out later. They'll be at the, the press conference. So, All right. Take it easy, guys. This was a great, great night. We did very, very well. Very, very well. So proud of all you. We'll get after it tomorrow. I am tired. Need a night of sleep. See you guys later.